So getting in touch with is a really common expression in English. And here's how it appeared in this TED Talk. I was getting in touch with her to set up an interview on how she had it all. That phrase. Mm. Mm. So um, would you read the sentence for me up there in the green? Of course. I was getting in touch with her to set up an interview on how she had it all, that phrase. Yeah, nice. I like your use of the quote marks. Thank you. Thank you. So, right. And is that an expression you've heard, getting in touch with? Yes, I have. You have? Okay. Yes. Well, then maybe this is something you're already familiar with. Mm -hmm. um, to get in touch with simply means that you're going to contact or communicate with the person. Mm. All right. Um, can you think of times that you've used that expression since you know it? Any times you can think of that you've used it in the past? Um, basically, whenever I explain, you know, when was the last time uh, for me to talk to my friends, I usually use this um, phrase. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Maybe like I need to get in touch with my friend because. Yes. Because. That. Yep. Um, so here's another example of that is he has been unable to oh. get in touch with his brother for a few days. Oh, I right? wonder why. Uh, yeah. And hopefully it's nothing bad news, right? <laughs> right. So, but it is just a sentence I made up. Nice. Um, so would you read that sentence for me? Sure. He has been unable to get in touch with his brother for a few days. Yep, good. Well done, well done. 시간이 없어서 영어를 연습할 환경이 안 돼서 자꾸 영어 실력이 줄고만 있는 것 같아서 고민이신가요? 여러분도 이제 미국 원어민 선생님과 50분간 100% 영어로 진행하는 수업을 통해서 조금 더 정확하고 자연스러운 영어를 배울 수 있습니다. 저처럼 여러분들도 하실 수 있어요. 고민하지 마시고 지금 바로 시작해 보세요. And here's some synonyms for the phrase get in touch with. You could say reach, like I was reaching her to set mm -hmm. up an interview, get hold of. I was getting hold of her mm -hmm. or connect with. I was connecting with her to set up an interview. So those would all be the same meaning. I gotcha. personally, I like getting in touch with better, mm -hmm. but just because it's such a common English expression. Right. Um, a Quick question. Of course. So I usually use to keep in touch instead of get in touch. Do you happen to, uh, of course, you know, like the difference between to get in touch with and to keep in touch with? Yeah, it's a really small difference to tell you the truth. To get in touch means you want to establish or start the communication. Mm. But keeping in touch means that you're going to continue it. Oh, so I, see. I want to keep in touch with her after she retires, mm. meaning continue communicating versus I want to get in touch with her to talk about the retirement party. I got to initiate or start the conversation. Gotcha. All does right. that help? It does. Thank you. Yeah. So I know you've already heard this expression, but do you have, uh, would you like to try to make a sentence of your own using it? Sure. Um, is uh, kind of true uh, statement. I like true statement. <laughs> it is. It's a sad reality that it's really hard to get in touch with friends I used to hang out with all the time in college. That, That is true. And life moves on, right? Yes, correct. So that, there's my free advice for you. So good use of the phrase and all you can do is your best and um, I like to think of it as it's a two-way street. So mm. I try to get in touch with someone, but hopefully they try to get in touch with me too. Right, right. So and then mm -hmm. we keep in touch. Nice. Nice, huh? But I just um, came up with another uh, synonym. If another you synonym, allow all right. Me, I would allow oh, you. How about this one? To stay in touch with. Stay, stay in, in touch, touch with? with. Yes. That would be more like keep in touch. Keep in touch, okay. Right, because if you're going to stay in touch, 
to me, that indicates you've already been in touch. Mm -hmm. You've already been in communication. Mm -hmm. So you want to keep in communication or stay in communication, not mm -hmm. initiate it, like get in touch. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Do you think, does that help yeah, explain there's like a small, fine nuance? Yeah, nuance for sure. Yeah. How, about, how about this one? To drop me a line, to drop someone a line. That could work, except if you're going to drop someone a line, I think that has to be some written form of communication. Oh, okay. We don't Whether care. it's an email, a text, or a, an actual letter, mm -hmm. the, the drop a line indicates writing has taken place or writing. Mm. What um, about, do you, do you think uh, to touch base uh, with somebody can be a um good synonym that's that would be a good synonym okay right i need to touch base with her to set up an interview gotcha so that would work yeah yeah i mean you know since we you know cover touch base uh that um phrase before so i think you know it's a good idea to bring that up so that you know people can watch it later <laughs> yep so maybe check the comments for a link to that one Yep, yep. Sure, sure. Okay, good, Thank good. Thank you. Yes, of course.